G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm of course Kevlos and today we're going to be taking a look at the Path of Champions with Vi. We're going to be doing the Chapter 2 Ver campaign. It's going to bring us to my favorite region, Noxus, and we're going to be taking on one of my favorite Noxian champions, Swain, part of the Beatdown Exchange Program campaign. Okay, so as usual, let's just go ahead and take a look and see what relics I'm running on Vi. So no changes from the first episode. Of course, I am still going with Aginsu's Rage Blade here, which will essentially give us a plus one, plus one each attack. And I think it's a very good item to have. It works well with all champions and, you know, in Vi's case, for example, uh, it's gonna help progress our level up really quickly because we need to get her to strike with 10 plus damage So yeah, that's basically gonna help out a lot Okay, so let's go ahead and head back and start this campaign We have to read the rules as well as soon as I pull it up uh, Special adventure rules each round the first time the full summons a unit granted impact, okay? Alright, we are all loaded in, so Swain is at the end over here, rightfully so. I believe this is the Immortal Bastion building, so yeah, it's understandable that Swain is actually up top over here. I think it fits the theme. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back. One more thing I should note, I forgot to mention this earlier, is that I have Vi at star power level 3, as in the previous episode as well. So it might make things a little bit easier, but then again, this is chapter 2, so it's a whole different um, animal compared to, you know, chapter 1. So I think the, you know, extra star power might be a little bit necessary here. Anyway, Anyway, uh, Relentless Force 2 round start, grant your strongest ally, plus 0, plus 2 and impact twice. Field of us find us, uh, plus 1 starting mana, game start, draw 2 cards, that cost 2 less. So that is our 2, um, you know, star powers here. Alright, so let's go ahead and head to the first node and pick up a power. Okay, we get when you draw a card, give allies plus one plus zero this round. Game starts, summon an Emperor's die, and your spells cost one less. I think I'm going to reroll this one here, because I think, in my opinion at least, uh, what would work really, really, he uh, really, really well here with Vi, uh, essentially is the, what is it, the draw one and reduce the cost of that, you know, drawn card, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember what's the, what's the power called, uh, but hopefully we get it here, then I can show you uh, what that power is. Uh, game starts on an Empress die again. Slow but steady, slow spell not at useful. Allies at plus one plus zero. I think we're gonna reroll this. The plus one plus zero is a nice buff, of course, but I really want that, you know, that draw power. I really can't remember the name. Hopefully we could get it to come up here. Game start draw two, that's not the one. When you damage an enemy, reduce its power by the damage dealt. Game start summon an Empress die. Again, we get the power I won. I think we're just gonna use the final reroll. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, game starts on Emperor's Die, summon an ally with Challenger and Overwhelm. Okay, so we don't get the power I want. Hopefully that pops up, you know, pops up later on, then I can show you what it is. Uh, but for here, I think we're just going to pick up the Crush, uh, which with the Overwhelm buff, because I think it's going to be, you know, uh, really, really good here for Vi's campaign. It should work really well with Astute Academic, since she will be essentially powered up. Vi will also benefit from the Overwhelm, so I think it's going to be a very good option. Alright, let's head to the first battle against the Reckless Trifarian. Hey, it's in head. What did you call me, Pilty? Know where the fighting pits are? I'm looking for a good old-fashioned dust-up. Don't need the fighting pits for that, girl. Well, you're on leave again and decide to spend your time heading into Noxus. Those guys like a fight, right? They have fighting pits and everything. <laughs> they sure do. They have one grand fighting pit here called Noxcrya. If I could just show you real quick, I believe you guys know as well. So yeah, the fighting pits is over here in Noxcrya Arena. So that's definitely not a wrong um, good, wrong deduction. Okay, let's go ahead and take them on. Incapita incapacitation. Um, the players' damage units can't block. Okay, so we get Vi on the start, which is good. I think we'll reroll the gotcha and we'll keep everything else. You're in for it now. Bring it. Okay, since we have a two-cost patrol warden here, I think we're gonna bring him on. Just keeping the peace. Let us discard a pro cannon as well. Well, not discard a pro cannon, but you know, use the pro cannon. We'll discard the veteran investigator. All right. I think we'll bring on a student academic here. How exciting. 
that's fine. Let's bring on another elusive pour, I guess. Oh, actually, no. Let's bring on a Ego Apprentice first. That way we get to refill two spell mana in case, you know, anything comes on, we can respawn. Happy to do whatever's needed. The sun's out. The crowd's ready. Let's rack it! All right, let's do a Mystic Shot first. I'm not gonna use the gotcha since this is three and this is two. Not worth it, I think. Excuse me. Okay, it ends the round. I think we might have the win next turn. Uh, yeah, we definitely have the win next turn. Not gonna bring on any units. Study into practice. Okay, battle rewards here. We get spaces, sketcher, dust stop, diplomacy, and geo protector. Diplomacy will give a draw one, deal one to all enemies and the enemy nexus, and summon random one cost follower. Um, spaces, sketcher is a straight up discard. I think we're gonna go with the geo protector because I think I can see some use for grant or grant an ally in hand plus three plus three upon play. That could actually work kind of well with vice, so I think we're gonna pick it up. All right, let's head to the support champion here. We get, we get Jinx again, which is kind of nice. Zix and a Shavana as well. I think we're just going to go with Jinx because I don't really see a good option. Shavana could be good, actually, now that I think about it. Um, it's a free attack with the Quick Strike Blade. So essentially, she'll get a plus one, plus one this round. And then she'll get another plus one, plus one if we attack. It could be a good option, to be fair. And Fury is definitely very, very nice. Um, but I'm also kind of inclined for Jinx because she has a quick attack, which is kind of good. Savage Shield will make her a 5-6 here. And yeah, I think both of these are actually kind of good. Zix is definitely not an option for me. Um, all things considered, though. Okay, you know what? Since we went with Jinx in the previous episode uh, against Caitlyn, I think we're going to go with Shavana here. I think that would be, you know, a little bit of a uh, variation, and I think it's much better. All right, so let's see what our options here. We get the healer down at the bottom and the item chest up top, as well as a champion item chest in the middle. So that means I think we're going to want to go down the middle path. Uh, let's see our two enemies here first. We have the Mana Soul Student as well as the Legion Marauder. Uh, I think we're going to go to the Mana Soul Student because the Legion Marauder is a little bit unmanageable if it gets out of hand. Essentially, it's going to keep, you know, uh, creating Legion Marauders in the deck. So a Mana Soul Student might be a little bit more easier to deal with. Okay, so let's go ahead and take him on. You're making your way through the woods when a blue ball of energy flies past you. What the... Okay, school assembly, game start, all players summon, a Mana Soul Student. Cool. All right, so we get Veteran Investigator, Eager Apprentice, and Patrol Wardens, and an Egghead Researcher. I think we're gonna reroll the Investigator and the Patrol Wardens. That way, we get p possibly the buff on the Wardens here. Uh, you know, the cost, the cost reduction on the Wardens, I, I should say. And the Veteran Investigator, I don't think it's a card I want to play since it's gonna draw a card for the enemy as well. So hopefully, we get something a little bit better. Maybe a Vi. Um, I'm guessing there was a bug. There was no text there. I actually have not noticed that. I think it's the first time I actually noticed that there was no text. Uh, but it should be fine. Let's just get on with the battle. So we get a Shavana here, which is kind of good. We also get the reduct, you know, the cost reduct, uh, cost reduced patrol wardens, which I think is you know good as well. So I think we're gonna bring them on. Uh, backup. I'm your backup. Now let's attack. I'm late for class. Where are you from? First time we play a fast spell, slow spell, or skill, I play Magic Embers. Okay, so Poro Cannon might not be, might not actually be a good thing here. We probably should have played it first, that way you could get one extra Poro and attack with that as well, but it's fine. Oh, that's so cool. Cool! Spell Embers! 
Okay, it's alright. Can do anything? It's fine. Let's bring on. Let's bring on the astute academic first. I brought my books. Hope that's all right. Oh, his face and Sid. You're okay, Donnie. No biggie. All right. Fangs turn. I'm gonna bring on the Egghead Researcher. That way, we could potentially block the Mana Soul Student. We're gonna take one damage here. Dragon of such fascinating creatures. All right. What is this? Sorry about that. My mouse wasn't, you know, responsive there for some reason. <laughs> yeah, let's commit this. Pass. Okay, let's bring on Shivana here. I serve my people with pride. Hey Donnie, tell me about Mage Side again. So are there these extra colors all around us? Um, I think we'll drop back the Astute Academy here because she's probably going to get blocked by the Mana Soul Student. It's not a big big deal, of course, but uh, ideally I want some units to survive in case we need the Emergency Block or something. Your aura is so blue. And a lot of pain. It's all right. Get him. Let's bring on another patrol warden. Citizen. Go on, Fang. Just like I taught you. How many spell slingers does this guy have? <laughs> Just take the one damage already and be done with it. <laughs> okay, so let's bring on Ego Apprentice here. Happy to do whatever's needed. I'm going for a walk. All right. You're disrupting my research. Take one damage. It's fine. Stays. Well, more than one, but it's still all right. Let's pass. And we actually win here. Obviously, we win. This is numerical advantage, and at the same time, it only has one health. Okay, so I think we're just gonna pick up this strafing strike here. An ally and enemy strike each other, then if the ally is a dragon, heal it too. It's basically a singles combat, and you know, it's essentially with the heal if it's a dragon. So I think it's a much better pick here compared to the rest. Deal one to anything, draw one. Uh, grant your strongest ally random common item. This game is, of course, a very cheesy and very nice option. But I think we're just gonna go with the strafing strike. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we do here. Um, right, we go to the champion's item chest. I forgot my actual game plan before the battle. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see what we pick up here. Vi, Shivana, ancient co ancient coin minus one cost, uh, philosopher's stone, and I've summoned draw one and a spell shield. Okay, so I think the ancient coin will be good. I think we're gonna give it to. What do we give it to? Vi or Shivana? <laughs> I think we're gonna give it to Vi then, since she is a five course. So yeah, let's go ahead and just pick up the ancient coin. I would say on Vi. That way we could bring her on early if you know it comes down to it. All right, so the next note is either a shop item, a sorry, a shop note, a spells chest, or a arena mecha caster. Okay, so I think we're gonna go and get the shop note, of course, and that means we can go to either one. So the Lord Broadmain here will play us when the full plays a skill, grant this strongest ally, strongest unit, plus one, plus zero. Uh, Crimson Aristocrat, round start, deal one to all units, then grant the false units, plus zero, plus one. I think we're gonna go up to the Lord Broadmain because it looks like a much more, you know, um, 
easier to beat, I would say, when the full place is skill grunt, yes, strong is in a plus one, plus zero. Yeah, I think this is much better than that because that's gonna keep um, getting a lot of health and potentially it might just summon more crimson units. So yeah, we're gonna head up top. You're ready to leave the woods when a fancy looking minotaur surrounded by guard spots you. That look on your face that that look on your faces spells trouble. Alright, not a bad start. We get both Vi and Shivana here, so that's definitely great. I think we'll keep this hand. We can of course start with an astute academic, that's fine. Guards! Arrest this trespasser. Who knows what she's seen? I know what I'm about to see. You begging for me to stop punching you in the face. <laughs> Okay, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a mystic shot here. I know I wanted to, you know, the initial plan was we bring on the astute academic, but I think it's better to, you know, prevent the tree damage here. Okay, now we'll bring him on. I'm gonna drop a egghead researcher as well. Let us attack. Right, Shivana can come on here. Most are cruel to All right, so let's block like this, I would say. We'll take the one damage, it's fine. Uh, actually, two damage because of the impact, but it's fine. Three, actually, because of the other impact. <laughs> Yeah, do we want to bring on Vi here? You know what? Let's bring on Vi. Why the hell not? Vi stands for vicious. That's fine. Let us attack with everything here. I think it should be okay. Stupid academic. Yeah, it should be fine. We might just lose her here, but I think it should be alright. That's alright. Bring on Kadragon here, I would say. Should be okay, right? What are, what is it, what are the chances it's gonna summon something? Uh, three mana here. Might be better to bring on two eager apprentices, just in case. Um, yeah, I think we'll do that. We might need to block with stuff here. One, one, two, one. Yeah, you know what? Let's bring on Kadragon. Why the hell not? We sh we are in control. We should be fine. Let's give the challenger to Shivana. Want to see some cool tricks, Bay? Sure. That's all right. Just keep the little biter off me. It even passes as well, so that's definitely nice. <laughs> okay, we can attack with this, and we should win here. Don't hold back. Okay, I think we're just going to grab a Laurent Protégé here because the Jandra is nice with a Colossal Hammer. It's essentially a 5-5, five, five, so it could be good. And we're just going to quickly move on to the shop node because we are running out of time and I want to see if we could take on Jin in this episode. So let's go ahead and just pick up a power. 
fire power, round star, greater fleeting blades edge in hand. Uh, it's not that great. I don't think it will be useful. But then again, it could work with Vi because, you know, it's going to progress the level up. Okay, you know what? We're going to pick up. We're going to pick it up. I am wasting too much time here. So let's just pick up this power and then see if there are any cards that we need. If not, we'll just leave. Um, an upgrade to the Patrol Warden sounds nice. So I think we're just going to buy that. Let's buy, uh, let's buy one because we have a lot of them. So right now we should have four. Uh, just to double check. Uh, do we have four or do we have three? Let's see, let's see. Patrol wardens. Okay, we have three. Uh, let's buy one more then. Make it up to four. All right. Uh, we don't really need anything else. The rush given ally plus one. Okay, I think we'll pick this up. We'll pick up one last thing before we go. This could work for Shivana because it gives her a free quick attack uh, for that particular round. And I think it's going to be useful. All right, so that's about it. Let's go ahead and take on Jin, Jin here. We are wasting too much time. <laughs> let's heal up quickly. We're going to confront Jin. What the hell? My canvases. You scroll on them with such barbarity. What are you talking about? The elevated brute wearing the stolen gauntlet. The civil child with a monstrous mother. The bearded thief. They were my canvases. And you, you damaged them. In carnage I bloom like a flower in the dawn. The sharp crack of a rifle sound just, uh, sounds just as the ground by your feet explodes. As you fall to the side, you see a slender figure slowly walking your way. Elaborate pr plans. The player's units have next to strike. Create a fleeting blade's edge in the false hand. So basically the same like the, uh, what is it? The dancing blades or something that we got. Okay, so I'm not sure what Jin was rambling about in the cutscene earlier, but let's just go ahead and take him on. All right, not a great start. I think we're going to reroll everything. Uh, well, not everything. We'll take out the Chump Womp and the Gotcha. We will keep the Jewel Protector. That could be good. Or do we want a hard reroll for Vi? Mm, yeah, let's hard reroll for Vi. It should be fine. Vi or Shivana? We get both of them. Now, I must conduct my artistry on you. Just try it, freak. Yeah, let's bring on the Ego Apprentice first. Happy to do whatever's needed. My first big mission. Okay, we'll do this. We'll attack with this guy. Excuse me? That's always been there. He'll block, we'll drop a blade's edge. We have enough mana. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and take him out. Barrier, which is not that great. Uh, let's bring on patrol wardens then, I would say. After them? After us. What else does it do? File fees, it's fine. Let's take it out. In ring, captain's orders. Bullet to the face. Okay, let's oh. block. We get Shivana next and it's all good. Dragon blood and and heart. The stage is set. Okay, let's attack here. Alright, we'll do a blade's edge to the Corsair. as well which is not great uh, actually we can respond to that let's uh, take him out first mystic shot as well as a blade's edge okay, let's bring on another patrol warden 
All right, so the Blades Edge actually helps us here. So I'm kind of glad I decided to pick it up <laughs> instead of just, you know, negating it, essentially. All right, so thank God there. Um, dodge the bullet, essentially. Okay, so we actually might have to win here, to be fair. Do we? Mm, we should have to win. I'm just going to attack. I don't think we need to bring on Vi as well. Alright, battle rewards here. I think we're just gonna pick up a... Oh, this could be good. Game start draw a uh, draw me from not in hand for Vi. That could be big because, you know, um, essentially Vi progresses a level up the more cards she sees us play. So I think we're gonna pick that up on her. Alright, so that's about it. So we can, of course, move on into the next uh, few powers. We have an epic enemy here and then a couple more enemies before we take on Swain. I think we're going to leave all of that for the next episode because we are running out of time right now. I think we're about 27 or 28 minutes in. So yeah, we're going to end things here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of the Path of Champions here with Vi. And if you did, consider leaving a like as well as subscribing to the channel. Really appreciate your support here. But most importantly, it's so that you don't miss future episodes or uploads of single player wages or content just like this one. And with that being said, this is Kevlo signing off. Thank you all so much for joining me. Thanks for watching as well. Hopefully I catch you all in the next episode. Goodbye.